The sheer size and age of the ancient pyramids on earth always fascinates the average human mind and lures people from all over the world to look at a grand piece of history. Built out of religious and prestige reasons, many of the pyramids on the African continent still stand and if preserved well could stand forever. Do you know all the pyramids on the African continent? Anyways, here are the pyramids of Africa. Like, subscribe and share please to help us. Thanks and enjoy. The world's most famous pyramids are in Egypt, while the Nubian pyramids are in Sudan. However, some pyramids that many do not know about are the Insude pyramids in Nigeria. Located on the Udi highlands of Enugu, these step pyramids were built out of mud and clay. They were eventually destroyed due to negligence. The Nigerian pyramids were built in a circular shape with at least 4 to 5 steps with bases of 60 feet. In total, there were about 10 pyramids overlooking the community. Unlike Egyptian pyramids housing pharaohs, the Insude pyramids were supposed to be livable structures for deities, while leading groups of five parallel to each other. Discovered in 1935, not much else is known about these step structures, but unfortunately, they could be lost to history eventually. Over in Northeast Africa, about 255 Nubian pyramids were built out of granite and sandstone, roughly 1,000 years after the last Egyptian pyramid was built. They differ from the Egyptian pyramids not only in size, but also wealthy citizens could commission their own pyramids. Furthermore, while the Egyptian pyramids had the burial places for the kings inside the pyramid, Nubian pyramids had the burial places of the kings underneath the structures. There are three sites where these pyramids reside, with the oldest being at Napata. As they sit in clusters, we have the Sedenga pyramids, pyramids of El Kuru, pyramids of Jebel Bakal, pyramids of Nuri, and the pyramids of Meroe. Unlike the pyramids of Egypt, these pyramids have shorter prefix names to distinguish themselves, like S9, N8, or W19. 40 of these pyramids were demolished by Giuseppe Ferlini, given permission by the governor general at the time. He looted the structures for treasures that he took back to Europe and tried selling them for a profit. However, no one believed these treasures of such beauty could be from Africa, so no one even bought them. Later on, these treasures ended up in museums in Germany. These pyramids are not as famous as the Egyptian pyramids because Sudan lacks the concentration to market the structures to the world as they are dealing with internal conflicts and an image crisis upon the nation. Then there are the famous world pyramids in Egypt. Even though the pyramids of Giza are what most people imagine when there's a conversation about the Egyptian pyramids, there are still other significant pyramids in Egypt. The very first pyramid, the Pyramid of Djoser, is a step pyramid which consists of six mastabas stacked on each other. Then there's a bent pyramid which was another pharaoh's attempt at creating a smooth pyramid before he was successful with the red pyramid. Going back to the pyramids of Giza, it's important to know that all three pyramids were commissioned by three different pharaohs. The largest or the Great Pyramid was built under the rule of Khufu and is the oldest of the seven wonders of the world. It took over 27 years to build and remains fairly intact. The pyramid in the middle was built by Khafre and is unique because of the Sphinx that accompanies the structure. The pyramid of Mankare is the smallest of the three with three accompanying smaller pyramids which are speculated to be for his wives. In general, there were over 100 pyramids and only 80 of them survive today. Tombs had to face the east but were buried in the west to mimic gods. Stones were quarried, cut and transported to the top. How were these precisely cut stones transported to the top? They were taken up by ramps with the slaves or contractors pulling up the stones with others pouring water in front to reduce friction. So in total there have been about 350 to 400 pyramids to have ever existed on the African continent. Many of them look spectacular right after their completion. However, Father Time has dealt with these structures, which still draw people in to look at the awe of the sheer size and debate about how they were built or who even built them. Let us know if you have visited any of these sites. The motherland awaits. Thanks for watching. Will we see you in the next one?